Good morning, Stamping Friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, it's so good to be back home again. I love traveling and I got to go see my grandkids in Atlanta this past weekend, but it's back to work I go and I just love my little happy place here in my craft room. Well, today, if you can believe it, I have even more projects to share from the Cozy Craft Retreat. Oh my goodness, you're probably thinking these projects are never gonna end, but we filled this weekend plump full with things to do. And so today I want to share with you the breakout classes we had. Um, you're gonna see some fun projects here and I'm anxious to share them with you. And I'm also gonna eventually have some links for you in case you're interested. So hold tight and let's check out the projects that we made. The first projects I'm going to share with you were actually designed by one of my team members, Susanna Cunningham. You may recognize her name. She is my partner in crime and I could not do these retreats without her. She helps me all year long with the planning stages and then she comes out to Arizona a week earlier than she needs to and helps me do all those last minute details. So I'm so thankful for her. I just always love to shout out her name because she just does so much for the Cozy Craft Retreat. So we decided to do an autumn all occasion stamp a stack and um, the gals who came received many um, different products in their little goodie bag and they made a dozen cards and so I want to share the cards with you now the paper everyone received in this class is called blackberry beauty and it's 12 by 12 paper I just want to quickly show this to you in case you haven't seen it it's gorgeous if you like a gold little shimmer um, paper to your projects this is the perfect paper for you. Look at that one could even be used for Halloween if you'd like. And the colors that are included that coordinate with this are Blackberry Bliss, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Polished Pink, and Rich Razzleberry. And they are just a really pretty elegant um, paper and you will see what Susanna came up with with all these creations. All right, so that's the paper. They also got metallic dots that are a little embellishment and some gold ribbon. So here's a little birthday card. Isn't that cute? This is popped up on dimensionals and um, there's just a little bird inside. And um, we used a variety of stamps, so there's not any one certain stamp, but we, it was just a collection of things. And that one has that pretty gold pumpkin that is embossed with gold embossing powder. Fun little design and... Um, Cute little inside. She's good at doing the complete card and not just the outside. This one is, I think it's called a gatefold. And that was one of our celebration stamps. And that's that one, isn't that cute? And the last one, this one's my favorite. I love that little owl. This is actually from the Halloween Frightful Tags dies. And it's a cute little wreath. And then with a peekaboo hole, isn't that adorable? I love that. So that was our stamp and stack. And now I want to share a Halloween project that we did in the breakout class. This next project is almost identical to the concept of the Christmas decor item that we did, but this one has a little Halloween twist to it. We did. Now the thing is they could opt to get a black frame or all of these fit in the white frame. And you can see there's a lot of white in the background here. So really either one would work best. I'm more of a Halloween is black person. So I knew I wanted to get the black frame to create it in. So we just have the Halloween words in wood that we painted. And then this one, instead of the O that came with it, I cut out the pumpkin and then raised it up. So just to make it a little bit different, there's a little bit of tool up here for the bow and the knot. Now the spider actually, he's free falling so he can wiggle around. Isn't that fun with a little, um, the gingham bow here. And I love candy corns. I have a fetish for candy corn. I like, I actually like the taste of them if they're with peanuts. Um, but to eat them plain, they're a little bit sweet even for me. But anyway, almost every Halloween, I do some sort of candy corn something. So this is where my candy corn was. And remember, all these come out. <clears throat> um, I use black glitter paper, which stamp, Stampin' Up sells. And then there's some um, little um, matte black dots on there. And um, here's a little uh, haunted house here with more glitter paper behind it. And then the pumpkin, which I embossed with our timber embossing folder to get the little lines in it. So it looked a little bit more like a pumpkin and people that took this breakout class, this was an additional one. If you wanted to take it in addition to the cozy craft retreat, they got a full pack of the designer series paper. They got half a pack of ribbon and a half a pack of these cute little stars. So that was another popular item that almost everybody signed up for. So I was so glad that we um, could do something like this. So just very, 
unique and something that we haven't done before, but the gals really enjoyed it. I want to remind you, if you see any products that you might enjoy, please order from my Stampin' Up! website and I will post the links and then be sure to use the host code right up here. I have a new co host code every month. So um, if you are watching this video and this is no longer available, just look on my blog on the right hand side and the current host code will be there. I know many of you have been curious about the products that I've used, and so I will be posting links, um, but just hold tight because I'm tr trying to work out a deal with the place where I got them where I could be an affiliate, so I will keep you posted on that. Just check back on my uh, Facebook page and my blog. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.